Okay. Looks like we are live. Hello, 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 everybody. Oh my gosh, it's good to be back in the seat so I can help you guys with your hair care journeys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, let me see what I got going on here. Okay, so I guess we'll go on ahead and out, get started. Hello, everyone. I'm Tamika, your personal hair coach and your online hair care teacher. And my mission is to help everyone that wants to grow their hair long, strong, and healthy to do just that. So if you don't know my background, I'm a former salon owner, hairstylist, and healthy hair care specialist that helped many women grow their hair to lengths that they could never imagine. Okay, so today I decided to do a QA and a and I'll tell you why in just a minute. But let me just go ahead and finish what I was doing. Okay, so um, check out my website, yourpersonalhaircoach.com for more information. You can also check me out on Instagram and Facebook to be notified of any happenings in the hair care world. Um, you can also check out my link tree for all of the important links there for classes, um, eBooks, all that stuff. Go ahead and check that out, and I'll put I'll put it here. Hey, everybody on YouTube, how are you guys doing? Good to be back on. I got to get my screen right here. I'm gonna put it here. Check out my link tree. I hold classes, and I have videos and eBooks and things for sale that you guys can check out if you want to um, have a little bit more help on your hair care journey. Okay, alrighty. All right, so remember this is the weekly class, at least until I say, and um, it's held every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, unless notified of anything different. If you're not on the list to be notified of the classes or anything that's happening with the classes, please feel free to go to my link tree and sign up um, to be on the list. That way you can get reminders. Okay, so this is a Q&A session. And the reason why I chose to do Q&A, um, pretty much I'm gonna be transparent, is because I'm tired. Uh, I have been a full-time caretaker <laughs> in addition to all my other responsibilities for the past few weeks, because my husband injured himself and he has to have surgery. So I've just been kind of dealing with that. And um, I just want to come on and just say hey to you guys, because I don't want to neglect you in, in, at all. And I want to see if you guys have any questions. So it's kind of like, a a check-in um, to see how you guys are doing on your hair care journeys, to see if there's any questions that you have for me um, or anything like that. So I guess we just go on ahead and get started. If anybody has any questions, you can go on ahead and type them in the chat or either come on, come on in the hot seat with me. So I'll give you guys a few seconds. see. Yep. Anybody want to come on? Any hair care questions? Okay. Now the first question, what is a good hair product to use for 4C hair to keep the hair soft? Um... I love to use, and I love to also recommend the Strands of Faith hair care line. Uh, those products are amazing for um, people who deal with um, needing moisture in their hair and softness in their hair. I love just about all the products that that brand has. Like they soften, they moisturize uh, the hair and just do a really good job of keeping the hair like totally moisturized. And I always, always, always recommend those uh, to people. Um, who were having issues with keeping their hair uh, moisturized. Because generally, moisturized hair, soft hair. Yeah. I know 4C hair, a lot of times, can be a little bit um, more difficult to keep uh, hydrated. But if you use those products and then wear your protective styles and moisturize on a regular basis, you should see a... <laughs> Priscilla, you agree with me? 
you should see a difference in your hair over time. But you got to be consistent. That's what I always tell people. You have to be consistent with your hair care routine to be able to see the results. So you can't just use something one time and think that that's going to yield your, the results. You got to keep using it over and over again. But yeah, I personally use those products on my hair, on my son's hair, and I love them. I'm glad I found them maybe about three years ago. They're good products. Yeah. How often do you recommend using a clarifying shampoo? It really depends. Okay. If you're um, natural and you are just wearing your hair in natural styles and you're not doing any like straightening or anything like that, then I'll probably say maybe once a month to remove the product buildup because you're going to be using, you know, products to moisturize your hair regularly and those do build up on um, your hair and scalp. So once a month, if you're natural and you're not doing any other things to your hair besides wearing natural styles. Um, if you've been in protective styles, I would recommend you doing it every time you take down your protective style, because whenever you're moisturizing protective styles, like you get a lot of extra buildup on your hair. So whenever you take down your protective styles, I would recommend that you clarify your, um, your hair. If you are a straight natural, I would recommend that you clarify your hair every time, uh, you want to straighten your hair. So if you straighten your hair once every two weeks, clarify once every two weeks. But you, um, if you do it once a month, clarify once a month. And also always um, follow up your clarifying. Like if you do clarifying shampoo, follow up with a moisturizing shampoo to put the moisture back in your hair because clar clarifying shampoos tend to be a little bit um, more drying. They strip the hair a little bit more. Uh, if you're relaxed, uh, you pretty much get clarified whenever you <laughs> relax your hair because that chemical just kind of like takes all the buildup off your hair. But relaxed hair doesn't need clarifying as much as the rest of them. Okay, let's. Um, da, da, da. What's good for children's dry hair? As I stated before, because the thing is, um, if you will take a child's product and you take an, a, a product that's supposed to be for adults, or just take a product and then take a product that's supposed to be for children, if you look at the ingredients, if it's if it's like from the same company more than likely it's going to be the exact same ingredients because like children's products are just marketing per se. They'll put a pretty little girl in the front and say that it's more gentle, whatever, but yeah. So I don't really necessarily have any recommendations for a child's product, but I do have recommendations for products to keep the hair, you know, moisturized, which is also strands of faith. I can't say that enough. Strands of faith products are amazing. Also, um, I have also used the melanin hair care products, which are really good, but she only has like three products in her line. The strands of hair products are made specifically for dry hair for um, people who struggle with like keeping moisture in their hair. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go over here. Uh, my hair broke off in the center top of my head and on both sides a little up from my ear. Could it be from silk press or something else? I would have to know a little bit more about what's going on with your hair to tell you that. And if you would like to come on camera, that would help me be able to maybe whittle down what it may be. If you want to do that, Lauren, that'd be awesome. Okay, so just let me know. Or you can type it in the chat if you don't feel comfortable coming on camera. I'm here on camera. Can you see me? Oh, here we go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, so what's what's going on? You said your hair broke off? Yes, like right at the center top right here. And if mm -hmm. I part it down from ear to ear, it's like right in this section on both sides. It's about that much that has broke off. Okay, and so you, all the way down to my scalp about that much. So you said you have been getting your hair silk pressed? No, I got I normally just wear my hair natural. So oh. I went to the shop and let her do the silk press. And then I noticed after I washed it mm -hmm. that I had the missing pieces like that. Okay. And it's for sure breakage? Yes. Okay. So do you know what was done to your hair during the silk press process? Or you just kind of trusted her and kept it moving? Yeah, I just trusted. <laughs> yeah. It's probably heat damage. Okay. Yeah. And unfortunately... Heat damage is something that just has to be grown off. I hate that this happened to you because if you don't wear your hair straight regularly and you go in to get it straightened, you expect for your curls to come back after you wash it, right? You don't expect to lose hair, right? 
right <laughs> yeah now one thing you uh i will i do want to ask is um how many passes did you notice how many passes were made on your hair when you're getting so pressed probably about two to three okay and also was it a lot of smoke and steam coming off the flat iron yes mm -hmm. yeah now, I'm I'm just gonna just throw it out there and say your hair is probably heat damaged and it probably it's just breaking because it's not used to all that extra that was going on. Um, as far as what you can do is while you are transitioning off of the heat damage, have have you washed your hair um yet since you had it straightened? Yes, I washed it and um I just went on and flat ironed it, but yeah, but what I really did was put the blow dryer on low. Mm -hmm. and let my hair you know blow dry it like that and then used my chi flat iron and just went through it once okay and how so how um straight. <laughs> what was the time frame in between the time you went to the salon and the time you decided you, you um flat iron your hair um probably about four or five months because i would just keep it twisted after that and just kept putting um like castor oil and stuff on the mm -hmm in those areas to try to help it grow back so okay so do you feel like the breakage has stopped or decreased i get it um i was getting a lot of um hair when i would wash it just more so than what i would normally get mm -hmm. and it's like long strands and stuff like that so i okay. ended up doing the um the alpha g uh protein treatment so okay and so how did you how did your hair do how did your hair do after you did the apogee oh it was better because okay. it felt yeah. like my Just... hair was kind of like stringy like you know yeah. gooey or whatever yes yeah, because I was going to recommend you do a protein treatment if you didn't already do it. So you're good. Just um, okay. keep up with your routine because it seems like your hair was probably pretty healthy before you um, had heat damage. So just keep up with your routine and just do what you know your hair loves and it'll come back. Unfortunately, it's a setback, but yes. so is life. I hate I hate that that happens, you know, but it looks like you still got a good amount of hair in your head, though. Yeah, I do. It's just not the same. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> It'll get better. This time next year, you're going to forget all about that because your hair is going to be fabulous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. So I had a question on YouTube I wanted to answer. Okay. Um, I've been trying to grow my daughter's hair for years and it stays the same length. I love, I would love to schedule one-on-one -on -one with you. How can I do that? Um, you know what? I think the information is in my link tree for you to do a one-on-one -on -one, and I'll put the link tree. Uh, I'll put my link tree here in the chat. And I believe that information is in there for the one-on-one -on -one consultations. And if you, if you click on that and it's not there, let me know. I'll just give you my email. Okay. You're welcome, La Campbell. Okay, my hair has changed its texture since I moved to Florida. It has small circles when I wash it, it's small circles. What is that and how can I treat it now? Should I relax my hair? I don't understand brown sugar. What do you mean by small circles? I'm, I'm not understanding that. Is, is it small circles on your scalp? Or is it, I, I would need a little bit more information. Can you um, can you uh, elaborate that on that for me a little bit, please? Because I don't understand what small circles are. Okay. All right. Um, Marilyn, can you provide an example of a weekly hair care routine for relaxed hair? Okay. Um, relaxed hair is, is pretty easy. You just have to make sure to keep your hair tied up at night or wrapped at night, depending on what your style is. And then you can um, moisturize your hair, you know, a few times a week with some nice oil that, that doesn't weigh your hair down, like... Um, argan oil or marula oil or something like that, or even um, uh, sweet almond oil, you know, some very light oil that absorbs into the strands. And you said a weekly haircut routine. Just make sure not to comb your hair too much. And I mean, it's not a lot you, you do like for relaxed hair. If you are wearing curls or anything like that, 
you know, use some type of rollers or rods or something to um, curl your hair every night and keep the heat off your hair. Don't be putting heat on your hair every single day or touching up, you know, try to um, whatever your style is you're wearing, try to make sure uh, you're finding ways to keep your style fresh without putting heat on it. OK, so, um, yeah. And uh, when shampoo day comes, just be sure to do your shampoo routine. Uh, you don't necessarily have to clarify, clarify, like I stated before, because relaxed hair doesn't need to be clarified as much, but shampoo and deep condition your hair, and then you can pre proceed to whatever style is. Okay. I don't think, okay. How can you retain length as a straight natural? Um, a good thing would to do would be to get your hair into some type of protective styles and make sure you're moisturizing regularly. Protective styles, it, it tucks your hair away, hides your hair away so that you're not manipulating it. And the um, if you can keep your hair from being manipulated regularly, then give your hair that break, then a lot you will see like how your hair will respond to it. Make sure to, uh, to trim your hair on a regular basis. Every three to four months is good for most people. If you're not trimming your hair regularly, then when it comes time for a trim, then a lot of times you have to cut off too much hair because you waited too long in between the trims. So just be mindful of that. But uh, straight natural tend to straighten their hair like every two to three weeks, sometimes a month. And so if you're wearing your hair down and out, only do that, you know, just after you get your hair straightened, like the first two or three days after you get your hair straightened, and then you can put it up into buns and stuff like that, or even uh, like a semi-protective style ponytail, get your hair off of your shoulders, or out of your way so it won't be touching everything. But just make sure you're moisturizing your hair on a regular basis. And I I would say moisturize, put something, a little bit of something, especially when your ends every single day to, to help out. And just try to um, make sure you're not putting too high heat on your hair. I like to tell people to start at 375. And then if that's not enough, then you can work your way up in increments. So just be mindful of that and make sure um, you know you're doing your protein treatments. Uh, you can do like protein about mm, every six weeks or so. Maybe every four to six weeks or something like that, depending on your hair. Also, I have 4C hair and it's hard to get my ends straight. You probably need to, unfortunately, crank up the flat iron just a little bit more, probably to um, maybe like 390 or even 410, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I wash it, I see small circles like it's a nappy look. Oh, it might be breakage. It might just be breakage. In Florida, it um, if you said you notice that whenever you move to Florida, it might be hard water. So you might have to get a filter for your water and make sure that you're deep conditioning your hair on a regular basis, brown sugar, because that's going to help combat some of that, um, that breakage that you might be seeing. Hi, Jasmine. Okay, let me go on over here and see what questions I have. Uh, da, da, da. I wanted to thank you for reaching others like me with great products you already educated me on for very fine hair, 3C4A hair, the Reckon Extreme Conditioner, the Paul Mitchell Sugar Cleanse for the Silk Press, the Moisture Recovery, Moisturizing Shampoo by Joy Co. I'm so happy that you like the products, Carla. Okay. Do you think, Priscilla, do you think that using Blue Magic Originals Grease is good for 4C hair and protects style for braids? Absolutely. If you if, look, people are going back to grease. Grease be handling its business, okay? Grease worked back in the day. It'll still work now. We've gotten away from it because we're always trying to be all frou frou and think that, you know, old school stuff doesn't work anymore. But I'm more of a, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type deal. So if grease is working for your hair, use it. And plus it, it helps seal in moisture and soften the hair too. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think that using cream of nature with argon oil from Morocco for perfect edges is good to use on the edges? I use it to cover up the gray. Yeah, you can use that. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. It's better than coloring your hair too much. Okay. Uh, Mabel, when you say clarify your hair, what exactly does that mean? And when or how often should that be done? When I say clarify, I mean removing buildup from your hair and scalp. So a lot of times you'll use products in your hair over and over and over again, and eventually you start like feeling like the product is not working or you feel like your hair is weighed down or heavy or it's just not absorbing anymore. So the clarifying gets all of the product built up off of your hair and kind of gives you like a clean slate. So the products that you're putting in your hair will be able to work and absorb into your strands. Um, and when, how often should it be done? It depends on what you're doing. So if you're a straight natural, I would say every time you... Um, you decide to still press your hair. If you're relaxed, not so often. And then um, natural girls, 
if if you're putting a lot of product on your hair, then you need to do it more often. Well, um, like once a month, maybe. It, but you have to kind of gauge it. You have to like know your hair because nothing is set in stone. Like I can give you guidelines, but nothing is set in stone. So just kind of like get a feel for your hair. And if your hair feels like way down or sticky or, you know, like it's not absorbing products or the products are not working as well, then it's time to clarify. You're welcome, Carla. Okay, let's go over here and see if there's any questions. Okay. Hi, does relaxed low porosity hair need protein treatments? If so, how often? Oh, for sure. Um, I would just say um, during the relaxer surface, uh, depending on how often you get the relaxer done. But during during the relaxer service is the time when you would focus on the protein if you um have low porosity hair. Yeah. Sendow says grease grease is not good for our hair. Well, it is what it is. Yeah, I, and I could I could show you videos that people say the opposite. You know, but you the thing is you have to do what's best for your hair. Um you know, grease might not do so well on one person's hair, but it might do fantastic on yours, you know. So I always say, whenever you're using product, you know, gauge and see how your hair responds to it. If your hair doesn't respond too well, then maybe it's not for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Da, da, da. Taylor, I'm going to try the Hydra Splash Joy Co. I love the Moisture Recovery Joy Co. Yeah, the Hydra Splash would be my replacement for the Moisture Recovery uh, Joy Co. I actually have used that and actually like it. It's not quite the same as the uh, Moisture Recovery, but it, it's pretty close. Mm -hmm. And grease is amazing, especially Kuza grease. I have to look that up. Yes, Kuza, Kuza grease. Okay, you're welcome, brown sugar. I started grapeseed oil. My hair, you guess, loving it. Awesome. Okay. What kind of, yeah, I don't know what Kuza grease is either, so I'm, I'm going to look it up. Okay. What I use to soften my new growth, just to soften your new growth, what you need to do is make sure that you're deep conditioning your hair properly. That's gonna soften your new growth. If you're not using enough product on your hair, um, then it, you're gonna wind up with hair that is not so soft. So I always tell people, cause I know a lot of times people don't, you know, they'll like go by the package instructions and do like that dime size amount or that quarter size amount, but that ain't enough. You need to be using way more than that. And I actually did a class with somebody recently and I showed them exactly how they're supposed to be like deconditioning their hair. And they were like, I'm not using nearly enough product. And they were wondering why uh, their hair was not doing as well. But she came back a few days later and she was like, uh, my hair is doing so much better because I paid attention to your instructions. So use more conditioner and that'll help with the new growth. Okay. Oh, June to December is when I relax my hair. I use grease. Two, nature's blessing. Awesome. Awesome. Grease is good. Hi, A Young. Okay. Priscilla, come on. Yeah, you can unmute yourself. Hello. Hi. Thank you again for coming on tonight. I just wanted to say that I did use some of the grease and I and my sister-in-law had mentioned the blue magic. She's been um natural for years and she mm -hmm. has a head full of hair. Her hair is beautiful and I started using your tips as far as the combing my hair the proper way, and I have been retaining length. I just wanted to say thank you on that. And I did use the Blue Magic, and when I took it down, my hair, I was loving it. My sister even made a comment, too, and my sister said, your hair looked like it's growing. Mm -hmm. And I said, I thank um, you for that because I just wanted to say thank you again for the tips. It is helping, and I'm, I'm taking, I'm using the stuff that I'm learning and putting it to the task and it is helping oh that is amazing yeah and See? i did want to say that you know the grease i, I use it that time and i'm going to continue to use it and i was pleased at how my hair looked and how it even felt it did feel softer after i i did it the top part i did with braids and the bottom i did with twist and i loved it all when i took it down it looked it it really felt good when i took it down Awesome. I say thank you. Yay. <laughs> yeah, Yay. Thank you. That is totally awesome. You see, applied knowledge. Mm -hmm. Applied knowledge is amazing. 
And that's why I give you guys these tips so you can apply to your hair care routines and get your hair on the grow and get your hair healthy. Congratulations to you, Priscilla. Thank you. And I'm going to keep doing it. And I'm going to come on and let you know the progress. Thank you. Uh -huh. I would surely appreciate that. And one day I'll I'll show myself on there when my hair looks good, but I've been detangling and I don't <laughs> want to come on tonight. <laughs> I hear you. I understand. Right. But thank you again. Thank you. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, Carla, come on. I want to thank you for thank you so first of all. I want to thank you, Tamika, because I looked at your video and it was only it's only been about a, maybe a month and a half when I saw your video and I saw what you were doing with a young lady whose hair is just like mine. And I was like, maybe if I just listen to her, because I listen to everybody, but I listen to you. And I was like, this is it. I start using those products. And let me tell you something. My hair stopped breaking. I was so glad it stopped breaking. And then I used this um can i show you okay so i've been using this right here right this right here blue magic and i stopped using it because i saw i heard somebody say don't use the blue magic so, so i'll put it back in my head and then i just hear you all say that so i'm ready to book an appointment with you because i really need some help thank you so much you are oh, just, I'm, I'm just so glad. thank you i'm so glad the things are working out yeah and the blue magic is a ticket i'm telling you more and more people need to get with that they do like i remember back in the day when i was younger like my grandma didn't use like blue magic on my hair but she used like the world crown whatever same thing greasy grease okay so our hair was nice our hair was nice and then the girls up the street they had long hair i mean everybody hair was like thriving so i don't know what people talking about but as soon as we started getting away from doing the old school stuff, that's when people hair started going, getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And then people were like struggling with growing their hair. But back when I was growing up in the seventies, you know, people had long hair back then. Now all of a sudden it's like this thing where people have long hair. I don't understand. It's the grease. <laughs> See, you remember, huh? Mm -hmm. You remember. Yeah. Yeah. So if it works for you, by all means, use it. Yep. Yeah, so you grew up in the 70s too. You, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The girls and the, the long braids and stuff. My hair wasn't super long, but it it was, you know, a decent length up until my mama put that first relax on there. That was that was that was not good. <laughs> that was not good. Okay, let's go on over here and see if we got any questions. Okay. I don't know how to use grease being that I use oils. I mean, you can use whatever you want. If if oils work for you, by all means, uh, yeah. But basically, you use grease the same way you use oils. You just don't use as much because grease is greasy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I missed it. Just apply the grease to the strands or the scalp. You can grease your scalp, yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people st still do that. Or you can apply a little bit to the strands. The same way you use, you know, like the oils, but use grease instead. Or if you want to do like a braid out or twist out of something, you use the grease to seal it in and then, you know, you know, uh, put it into your style. And then once it dries and you let it down, it's super soft and bouncy and defined. Uh, my mom used Blue Magic on my scalp and my scalp used to itch real bad. Then you need to stop using Blue Magic on your scalp if it makes your scalp itch. Yeah, because just because it works for one person doesn't mean it works for you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I see the zero hair grease on Amazon. They have an oil too. Wow. I'll give it a try in a few weeks after I wash my hair. Blue Magic is nice. My daughter uses coconut one in our grant. Okay. Yeah. Yep. If grease works for you, you use it. But if you use it and you get adverse re you know, reactions or you itch or whatever, stop using it. And that goes with any product. If you start getting any type of reaction or weird stuff going over here, stop using it. Don't keep using something. Your hair is like... <laughs> not responding or your hair feels dry or brittle or something like that. Don't use products if they're not working on your hair just because everybody else is saying how wonderful this product is. Hmm. All right. Uh, is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair good to use as a leave-in conditioning cream? I don't know what that is. Y'all gonna make me have to look this up. Cantu Shea Butter. Cantu. A lot of people use the Cantu products. Uh, 
It says conditioning. Let me see. Do you know the exact name of the product? Because I have one that says leave-in conditioning repair cream. If it says it's a leave-in, then it's it's a leave-in. So, um, yeah, this is Priscilla again. I I have it right here, and it's saying can to shea butter for natural hair, and it has leave-in conditioning cream, and it say it helps repair hair hair breakage, mm -hmm. leaves hair soft and manageable. And I have been using this when I do the my hair when I use put the gel on it. Mm -hmm. I put the um I put the gel I, I I use this as a once I wash it and and decondition it then I on it and then I put the gel on it and when I put okay. the gel on it, it it stretches my hair and it looks really good like a straight it almost looks like your hair is perm but it's it's a uh, gel you know how when you put the gel on it slicks your hair down yeah it looks, it looks really good but the only thing about the can too sometimes it with the gel and this on it, it it leaves like a white looking stuff in your hair. That's oh the only yeah, thing I don't like about it, but it looks good with the because I was using the Echo Gel. I I pulled out all of the products that I've been using so far, like the Echo Gel and stuff, and that. But the only thing about it, it has like a white looking stuff on your hair, and it makes it look kind of messy. But when it dry, it looks it looks really good with the Echo Gel. Okay, well, if it's working for you. And and that's what I was saying. I was just wondering if that was good to, I mean, it's not really breaking or anything. And yeah, yeah so I say I'm, I'm just trying different things right now, trying to figure out what works the best. Yeah. So if, you're, if your hair is thriving on it and you don't have any breakage or anything like that, then keep using it if, mm -hmm. if it's working for your routine. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Mabel, yes, I use Blue Magic as well to grease my scalp. It's the only thing that helps with my flaky scalp. See, there we go with the grease again. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, the oil is good too. Okay, A Young, how do you wash grease out? It leaves residue behind when my mom washes her hair. Uh, you need to use a clarifying shampoo whenever you um, wash out grease. If you don't have a clarifying shampoo, then you need to wash it several times because grease tends to like really like get in, it tends to really coat the hair. So you might have to wash it two, three, four times to get the, the grease off. Yeah. All right. Okay, guys. And does any, does anybody have any more questions? Oh, hold on. oh you're welcome, A Young. Yeah. I'll give you guys a few seconds to think of some stuff. Yeah. If anybody wants to come on camera, that's fine too. Thank you, Ms. Tumika. I appreciate all you do. Thank you very much, Mari. You're sweet. I'm go over here and make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? Thanks again. I love the fact that you take time out of your schedule to give us tips on growing our hair. You're very welcome. It is my pleasure to serve you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. All righty. So if nobody has any questions, I will say this, be sure that you remain consistent with your hair care routine. Consistency is what gets you to, you know, your goals. So don't think that you can just try a product once or think that you can just do um, a certain routine once you're going to get results because the damage and breakage that occurred in your hair did not happen overnight. So you're not, you're not going to get your hair back into health overnight. Um, hair care and a hair growing journey takes a good while. 
um, depending on whatever is going on with your hair, whether it be damaged or slow growing or whatever you want to say that it is, um, or if you're starting from scratch, just think, you know, it's going to take you a little while to get to where you need to get. So generally I tell people um, for like a complete full head of hair, a complete turnaround, complete full head of hair, usually about 18 months um, for most people. Um, yeah. And that's usually about shoulder length. Like if you're starting from scratch, like with this, let's just say you like teeny weeny Afro, use about 18 months to get to shoulder length with a full head of healthy hair. And this is what you're doing, like your trims in between. Okay. Yeah. So um, just be encouraged that even though you might be having um, hair struggles or whatever, I'm here for you to answer your questions. And you can um, also use resources that I have, um, you know, on my link tree to be able to take classes. I have a, a 14 day boot camp to get you started on your healthy hair growing journey. I have ebooks that teach you about how to um, stop your hair from being so dry and so on and so forth. So just go check those out so you can um, get some more resources. It's like everything all at once instead of you like coming to weekly classes. Um, yeah, if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, that information is also in my link tree. And uh, I would love to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you so I can get to the root of what your hair care issues are. And I also provide you with a personalized routine for your hair care concerns. Uh, let me put my link tree in here for your hair care concerns. And it's just way more personalized and you can get all the information and ask whatever questions all at once uh, to me. So check that out too. Okay, let's see. I got a question here. What grease do you use? I have so grown hair now. I have so many questions, so little time. Yeah, go on ahead and book a, a consult with me, A Young. But what grease do I use? When I do use grease, I, I buy, I think the Royal Crown. Yeah, the one in the little like, um, paper container and it's white. I think it's a royal crown and I do use grease. Yeah. And thank you. I hope your husband feels better. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. He actually has surgery on the ninth. And so, um, I'm probably not going to be doing, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure what not I'm going to be doing class because I'm going to be like a super full, full time caretaker, like everything. So I'll, I'll let you guys know, I, I feel like I am, but then if it gets to be too much, I'll go on ahead and send an email and say, I want to cancel class. But so far, let's go on ahead and say that we're going to have class. Yeah, because yeah, the surgery is the ninth. Okay, thank you so much, Lorraine. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Thank you so much, A. Young, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. Yep. Okay, guys, so if nobody has any more questions, I'm going to give you guys a few more seconds. If nobody has any more questions, I'm going to go on ahead and bid you all good night. I love you guys so much. And I thank you for allowing me to serve you again. It is my pleasure. God bless you all. And <laughs> thanks, Carla. God bless you all. And I will see you in the next class. Have a great evening. Bye-bye now. Oh. Oh, that, that girl, that girl G. Go ahead with the hair fertilizer. It's a good product. It's a good product.